Round one, this is actually a really, really good hand. We get to go uh, Undercity Troll into Valoran Wardens, which is really nice. Wow, we even got ourselves a curve. Look at that. So now we get to go Undercity Troll into Wardens and maybe even Mighty the Masses for the following turn if it comes to that. I guess he can burn Undercity Troll here, but then I guess it's better for our Wardens. Gear Crafter. Hmm. Um, I think we want Wardens here in the next turn. Might of the Masses. Actually, I guess I can swing with Thunder City Troll because I've got Regen. Which is actually a little bit awkward, to be honest, but that's okay. Because it means I'm not going to draw the card. But the problem is if I play the Wardens and wait... It's not as good either, so we do miss out on a little bit of value. But here's the good thing. I can still attack with Wardens, and he doesn't have a good block. I did have to leave up Regenerate, so I'm not, it's not like I regret it. It's just it would have been nice to draw a card there. Kind of nice, actually. Um, I think we swing team here. And then I can do Bound and Crisis to tap down his War Oracle. And I can still Mighty the Masses. If I have to. I don't think I have to, though. Like, um, I could not be telegraphing a combat trick more. Okay. Well, that's pretty awesome for us, then. If he's going to let us draw a card, too. Like, this is a tough spot for him, actually. Yeah, like, now it's pretty insane for us. Our guy's bigger. We get renowned. We pass. We tap down War Oracle during their combat step. I could trade instead, but actually, no. It's even more brutal than that, isn't it? Um, yeah. This is still okay. Could have Enshrouding Mist. Like, it's not too late to just tap down War Oracle, but he did leave up Enshrouding Mist, which would be a problem. I think I actually just tap down War Oracle, and then I can leave back Undercity Troll on my turn to, like, block it for days. So I think that's fine. I'm going to play around in Shrouding Mist here. Like, I could go for the combat trick, but I feel like I do more pressure this way. And now it, like, kind of wastes his Amprin Tactician since he doesn't even want to... Likely doesn't even want to keep it back. I can actually keep back the Valoran Wardens now that I think about it. Or even just play a Naturalist and just swing team. That's pretty sick, too.
So I think we swing for nine here. I don't get to leave up the might of the masses, but all right. Make the trade or try to. All right, he had to bust multiple spells to to do this, so that's actually okay. He basically busted everything so he could get in and gain a bunch of life, but we're still in good shape here. He didn't even get renown. Land draw there was pretty bad actually, though. Um, I guess that we. Swing Warden, since then he kind of has to use, like, Fiery Impulse on... Well, he can't use Fiery Impulse on Warden, but... Doesn't matter, I guess. I guess Celestial Flare is better against my Troll, but a Pump Spell is worse against my Troll. Orchard Spirit's a good draw. So let's get in with... Warden again. Actually, I should have pre-combated the, uh, the Orchard Spirit there. Because the Might of the Masses gets better. Alchemist Vile is a bit of an issue, but we're still going to block and might, I think. Although, let me think. So he sacks this. We can't block. Oh, he targeted his own guy accidentally. Whoops. That was a mistake. He's got two cards left. I'm almost like a little bit hesitant. Well, let me think about this. I get in for everything. Let's say he has Celestial Flare. Um, so I have to lose one of my guys. I still get the Might of the Masses for at least two, which means I get in for seven. He can crack back for three. He goes back up to six. So maybe I do sack the Orchard Spirit then. I mean, I still have lethal next turn regardless of the the War Oracle, so I think we just go for it here. Um, best way to play around Fiery Impulse is Might in the Masses. All right. So opponent's mistake costs him quite dearly. We're playing against Red-White. I assume very aggressive since he's got the Kithian's Tactics, Titan Strength, Alchemist Vile. Um, I don't think I have more early game, though, do I? I can do Aerial Volley. I don't love that. I've got Chief, which is fine. Might be a little bit better defensively than, like, Orchard Spirit is. 
Like I can I can take out one of my orchard spirits for a chief of the foundry. And and that extra toughness honestly makes quite a bit of difference. On the draw. I kinda like that better on the draw. I think yeah, we'll cut one orchard spirit for a two three on defense. Plus, you know, random chance it buffs three other creatures, which should not be overlooked. There is an orbs of warding. Which seems reasonable, but I don't love it. I think I think we'll just take out the one spirit for a, a chief. I guess I could take out a force mage for the chief too, but I think because we have renowned guys, it's a little bit better to stick with the, the potential pump, dude. Better for attacking purposes. But I guess Orchard Spirit being evasive is is quite good too. I just I think synergistically speaking, the Force Mages are going to be better with our renowned guys. So, all right, let's try this. Good looking hand. Nothing super cheap, but Chief's looking good here. So chief into empath or wild, uh, wild instincts, yeah, is is not too shabs. All right, the aggressiveness has begun, but this is where I think chief looks a little bit better, since it at least holds back the two two or makes him use some removal. Augert Brute. All right. It's going to be an issue, but I guess I can eat it with Chief of the Foundry. All right. Not... Playing into the combat trick is actually kind of nice for us. Uh, Void Mage is actually pretty good here. I think we do that. Puts more dudes on the board, sets him back. And doesn't give him great attacks either. So let's dump that Boggart Brute. All right. I think we might just take five here. Oh, well. Offer that trade. All right. Not honestly not in the worst spot here. Uh I think we do Servitor, which is bigger, and leave up Titanic Growth. I think I actually swing with Chief of the Foundry here, too. Because I have Titanic Growth to protect my Servitor. I mean, the only reason I'm really attacking there is I kind of feel like it's a good idea, although that's a reason not to. I hadn't seen the suppression bond, so I wasn't sure, but yeah, it's a little bit rough, actually. I mean, the thing is, would I have blocked a 3-3 anyway? No. 
Although, I guess... No, he would have done it on the servitor anyway. So, alright, well... It's a bit of an issue. Guess we wild instincts and then attack. Although... No, I guess we just jam an empath. And then chill. We need to find a land. So we'll top, top, get the construct. Got to play it slightly more safe here. Naturalist gets our servitor back online next turn. So, in case he's got... If he's got Titan Strength, this gets four toughness. I could just block with the Empath. I kind of like that more. I don't want to lose my Chief now that I've got a couple artifact creatures. I think we'll just go like this. Okay. I didn't have to offer the trade there, but like I said... Losing the Chief didn't seem great either. No card to search up. All right. So I think that we play Naturalist, blow up Suppression Bonds, and then pass. I want to start getting aggressive, but it's difficult. I'm thinking Wild Instinct's Bonded Construct next turn should put me far enough ahead on the board where I can start striking in again. I mean, the a, a decision I made that could have had some regret was the... Is he thinking of swinging with that Brute? If he swings with Brute, I block with Servitor Naturalist. Because he can kill Servitor, but we get the extra card. I mean, he gets it too, but we get to use the extra card right away. Um, that's pretty good to have, actually. Let's go Wild Instincts. Because if he has Titan Strength, he gets up to 6. And then we can Mighty the Masses... And still survive. So let's let's do it on the servitor actually. Cause I don't even mind if he uses uh fiery impulse or something. Well I guess that doesn't work because he doesn't have the let's just go wild instincts here. So even if he does the Titan Strength, which he did not, he does gain life from that, but that's not of the utmost concern at the moment. I think that we just swing Servitor. He can block with Relic Seeker, and I don't think I want to use Might of the Masses. Okay, so he does get an extra card here, but we're going to get the... I could have saved it, but I actually would rather play the Bonnet Construct because um, now if he has a removal st uh, spell, I can still double block the Brute. Not a huge deal there. Okay, so if he has Titan Strength, it's... Not that big of a deal. He does kill our naturalist, but 
I don't even think that's that big of a deal. We've got significantly more cards than our opponent does. All right, that's not that terrible. Yeah, I mean, granted, he kills two things, but we've still got a pretty good hand here. Automaton is actually a nice draw. We've managed to find all of our uh, artifact creatures, which is actually kind of sweet. Hmm. All right. So I guess we block in Mighty the Masses just because we've got more going on. Seems good to me. So now we get to go Impath. Get some more card advantage. We'll bottom that. Top this. We go Swing Chief. Leaf Gilder. Pass. Acolyte of the Inferno. Um, so if I Jiraga Invocation, now he has to block. I think that's our best move, actually. It just it puts him in such a... There's no reason to even risk anything here. Let's just really get ridiculous. This just puts tons of pressure on him, forces him to block. And I'm pretty sure it gives us lethal next turn. With Titanic Growth and Force Mage. All right. So we got the match. Very good. I'm glad our... Uh, Deck played well for us. Basically mono green. Played against a pretty uh, hyper aggro uh, red-white deck and managed to uh, bring it home. So very nice. Glad to see that. And we'll see how we do in round two.